promise me you'll be on your best behavior tonight. Hey, aren't I always? Well, I'm serious. May I present Miss Jasmine Perry? <laughs> Which one of you handsome men is Big Willie? Yes. <laughs> Nerdrotic.com. Turns out, well, at least I might have been wrong. The Oscars were too white. Uh oh, Richard! <laughs> oh wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Yes, we might have seen the most exciting moment in Oscar history, but it doesn't change the fact that it was still wrapped around a self-congratulatory circle jerk of adult pretenders. Now, we're going to get into some of the woke virtue signaling in just a moment, but first, the slap heard around the world, and I don't want to get too much into Will Smith and Jada Pickett Smith's very public open marriage, and sure, there is about 6,000 years of data proving that this doesn't work, but maybe they're the exception. That's terrible. It's the truth. It's the truth. Now, there was a joke earlier on in the episode where Wanda Sykes was calling up certain male actors, now I'm not a biologist, obviously, up for a private COVID test, and well, this happened. Will Smith, um, you're married, but you know what? You're on the list, and looks like Jada approved you, so you get on up here. Get on up here. <laughs> Now, Will Smith seemed to be laughing at that, and so did Jada Pickett Smith, but maybe it's stuck in Will's craw just a little bit. Now, this brings us to the slap heard round the world and Chris Rock. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> now, that's what led up to it. A very light G.I. Jane joke. Apparently, Jada Pickett Smith has a condition, alopecia, the partial or complete absence of hair from areas of the body where it normally grows. Baldness. <laughs> Fucking fuck that shit. Now, you can see Jada Pinkett Smith was not happy with that joke, but it seemed like Will was fine with it at the time. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see that again. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 The moment 10,000 memes were born. But it doesn't end there. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. And this is the moment everyone realizes that this isn't fake. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. Oof, that's awkward. That was a uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. I don't know about the greatest moment in television history, but it was definitely the greatest moment in Oscars history that broke up the monotony of a virtue signaling dumpster fire. But it gets even better because Will Smith won the Oscar for Best Actor. Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. <laughs> yeah, that's how he decided to open it. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. So God asks you to slap Chris Rock? Why? I mean, I'm not crazy about his comedy that much anymore, but seriously. I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, Still waiting for the apology to Chris Rock.
Not going to happen. Now, let's get one thing straight. We are talking about people who make believe for a living, who pretend for a living. And hey, I don't mind that they get paid exorbitant amounts of money doing it. If that's their skill, great. But when they start telling us how to live, when they start walking around in their $250,000 dresses and wearing their $150,000 necklaces, which a lot of women and men, not a biologist, were doing at the Oscars tonight, let's just keep in mind they don't know shit. These people are simpletons. But if this is going to be the Oscars, well, then sign me up. Celebrity Deathmatch to get that Oscar. And I know there are a few out there who would be perfectly willing to do it. Oh, yeah. And before the slap that was heard around the world, these are the kind of jokes we were listening to. This year, the Academy hired three women to host because it's cheaper than hiring one man. <laughs> we're going to have a great night. Uh, tonight, and for you people in Florida, we're going to have a gay night. Gay, 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 gay. Wanda Sykes even broke out a pre shredded Texas ballot to call out voter suppression laws here in the great state of Texas. This ended up being the best and most on point unintentional joke of the evening. All you have to do is apply it to last year's presidential election. Okay, like you, you like democracy, right? You like democracy. Well, here is a voter registration form for the state of Texas. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, it's, not uh, again. It's, it, they come pre-shredded now. Oh, yep. Look at that, look at that. There you go. You take that. There you go. Listen, I don't really want to get into details of Will Smith's personal life. I'm just going to point out a single inconsistency. If you're perfectly okay with being in an open marriage, you would think you'd be okay with some light joking, especially from Chris Rock, the kind of person you would expect it from, who deserves a little respect for taking that slap and then going on to announce the next award like a professional. So let's not forget how Hollywood has acted over the last few years. Let's not forget how they acted during COVID, how they acted during the riots, how they acted during the Covington kid case, how they acted during Kyle Rittenhouse. I don't think anyone is going to forget that anytime soon. That's why we live in a post movie star era. Now, this probably started with the advent of social media and we got to hear exactly what they think. And well, we all found out that, man, they were so much better when other people wrote their words for them. Personally, it is celebrity on celebrity crime and quite frankly i just break out the popcorn in situations like this but again i'm not going to have a lot of sympathy for somebody as privileged as an adult pretender like will smith there was a time it would just be enough to have will smith in a film for that film to do well we no longer live in that time again a post movie star era we have already achieved peak Hollywood and it's on its way down from the garbage New York Times we aren't just watching the decline of the Oscars we're watching the end of movies so Chris Rock isn't going to press any charges and the Academy does not condone violence in any form except if it's Will Smith smacking Chris Rock <laughs> and then they give him an award so Will Smith looked like a broken man during his acceptance speech and he did mention that he took a lot of shit in Hollywood and I would like to give him a little unsolicited advice. Stay off the internet tomorrow. If you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like what you heard, I thank you for listening this long. I will see you in the next video. Nergerotic.com